Our topic for today is the greatest common factor. First, let us define what is the greatest common factor, or known as the GCF. The greatest common factor is the largest factor that are common to the numbers. Again, greatest means the largest or the highest. Common means the same. Factor means the number that we multiply to get the product. There are three methods to get the GCF. First is true listing method. In listing method, all you need to do is to list all the factors of the numbers, then find the largest among the factors. Let us get the GCF of 24 and 36 using the listing method. For 24, the factors are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. Therefore, 24 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 for its factors. Then for 36, let us get the factors. 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and 6 and 6. Therefore, 36 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36 for its factors. Let us first identify their common factors, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The greatest common factor is Another way of getting the GCF is through prime factorization. In prime factorization, all you need to do is to list all the prime factors of the given numbers. In prime factorization, you need to know what are prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers are numbers with only two factors, which are one and itself, such as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. Well, composite numbers are numbers with more than two factors, such as 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 18. Take note of that 0 and 1 are numbers which neither a prime nor composite numbers. Let us again take the numbers 24 and 36 using the prime factorization. For 24, let us start with 2 and 12. 2 is a prime number, but 12 is not. So let us get the factors of 12, 2 and 6. 2 is a prime number, while 6 is not. So let us get the prime factors of 6, which are 2 and 3. Both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Therefore, the prime factors of 24 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. For 36, the factors are 2 and 18. And 2 is a prime number, while 18 is not. So let us factor the 18. The factors of 18 is 2 and 9. 2 is a prime number, while 9 is not. So let us get the factors of 9. And the factors of 9 is 3 and 3. Both 3 is a prime number, so we can stop here. Therefore, the prime factors of 36 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. In prime factorization, you need to align the same numbers in the same column, while different numbers should be listed separately. Let us now compare the prime factors of 36 and 24. Get the prime factors which are the same. The same prime factors are 2 times 2 times 3. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 36 and 24 is 12. Okay, let us try the third method which is through the composition method or continuous division. In the composition method, you will divide the two given numbers by a factor. 
continue dividing by a factor until they are no longer have a common factor except one. Then multiply all the divisors on the left to get the greatest common factor. Again, let us take 36 and 24 as an example. Let us divide 24 and 36 using their common factors like 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12, while 36 divided by 2 is 18. We can still divide 12 and 18 by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we can still divide 4 and 6. You can divide them by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. While 2 and 3 are both prime numbers, we will stop here. To get the GCF, we need to multiply all the numbers or divisors on the left. So the GCF is 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. As you can see, using the three methods will give you the same answer. But wait, how about if you have numbers that there's no common factors like 10 and 21? The factors of 10 are 2 and 5, while the factors of 21 is 3 and 7. If there's no common factor, then the GCF is 1. Why? Because every number has 1 as a factor. Now let us recap. There are three methods to get the GCF. The first method is the listing method. In listing method, all you need to do is to list all the factors of the numbers, then find the largest among the factors. The second is the prime factorization. In prime factorization, all you need to do is to list all the prime factors of the given number. And the third method is the decomposition method or the continuous division. In the decomposition method, you need to divide the two given numbers by any common factor. Continue dividing by a factor until they no longer have a common factor except one. Then multiply all the divisors on the left to get the GCF. And that's it! Now you know how to get the greatest common factor of numbers. If you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching!